Alright, welcome back everybody to another Hollow Knight stream. 109% in the God Home. There's a lot of boss fights to be had today. And I think the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to try to beat that third gauntlet. Instead of fighting the bosses individually, I want to try that like third wave of bosses. Because I believe there are some gauntlet exclusive bosses that we haven't even unlocked yet. So, the first thing we got to do is obviously set up our charms. Obviously, I want Unbreakable Strength. That one's really good. Not Fury of the Fallen. Uh, Mark of Pride I really like. I do like Quick Slash as well. Those are all very, very solid. Uh, the Dream Shield could be nice as well. Mm. Yeah, Shape of Un. Definitely. I like being able to move while I heal. That really, that really does help out. I, I know, RS. I saw your comment that you left. Ah, <sighs> gotta rest on that bench. Oh, wait, that's right. If we rest on the bench, now we have the thing that fills up our soul for us. Because going into the fight with Max Soul, I think, is a good idea. <laughs> well, I hope... I just aspire to be entertainment. It doesn't even have to be humongous. <laughs> the Pantheon of the Sage. No, I'm not binding nothing. No, sir. Alright, what do we... Oh, that's right. I've already fought a couple of these. Yeah, I did I did see your message, DX. I, I haven't responded to it yet. I, I definitely appreciate the offer. I... D I, I like the current banner I have, which basically says banners suck. <laughs> but I do, I do appreciate the offer for sure. Whoa! Gotta heal up! I don't have a problem with you saving up, Arty Bucks. Not at all. Oh, that's right, it's Garfield. Oof! Ouch. Man, he was at 1 HP for a long time. The boss that hates Mondays. It's true. Oh, that's right. It's the Collector. I forget where we died last time in this gauntlet. Was it at the... The arena boss? Colorful anti, how could you? Aha! <laughs> hey, Nintendo Attic, nice to see you. Welcome. Yeah, we're, we're just doing a boss gauntlet. No big deal. That's right. These guys stink. Ah, uh, thank you, Shadow Dash. Oh, the parry! <laughs> oh wow, that that that, actually, that fight actually went a lot better than it usually does. Hey, <laughs> thank you, thank you. It was nothing. <laughs> 
Ant Soldier and her pet dog, yep. Oh, that's right. Oh, no. You must bow to Grim. Grim does not like it if you don't bow to him. I forget the way to get through that without taking damage. Shoot, so you can't even attack him while he's doing this. Shoot, Grim is harder than I remember. This is regular Grim, too, not even Nightmare King. Why can't I hit him? I don't understand why none of my attacks were hitting him. I have the super long nail. I still think that this is a good match setup, though. I mean, Quick Slash isn't really good for Grim, but it's really good for the other fights. Uh, Junior Adventure Jungle is the best. Out of the three... How come his guys can still hurt me while he's dying? Good lord. Quick Slash is also not great against Garfield. The extra reach on your nail makes this fight a lot easier. Because <laughs> I actually really struggled with the Collector when I first attempted her. That's why I love the Super Mall Nail Charm. It's really good.
getting the hang of that fight. Now back to Grim. Grim is Grim is definitely one of my favorite fights. I used to be really good at avoiding that ground blast attack. Not anymore. <laughs> Who would have thought the secret to that attack is just to, like, jump over the blasts? I'm like, I gotta do the crazy dash... Uh, yeah, for some reason I just can't dodge those blasts anymore. I feel like my jumping is too good at this point. Bye, Grim. They better not put me against Nightmare Grim in this uh, track. <laughs> well, the, the issue is Proxima. The hard part of the Col Coliseum is not necessarily the boss at the end. It's the 8,000 fights leading up to it all in a row that you can't screw up. Do you want to change your equipment? Not really. I don't remember this guy. Well, he was easy. Zote. It's Zote. Hopefully it's Zote 1, and not Zote 10. Yeah, it's Zote 1. Okay, he should be easy then. I have lots of practice. <laughs> Oh, Zote 3, single damage, but he has it. Okay. But he's not the final Zote who had all those adjectives. Come back when you have learned. <laughs> oh no, not this Fane. Glad I practiced him last time. Because the Umu is not fun. What? BS!
Oh, cool. One cycle. I'll take it. That was still annoying, though. <laughs> oh, hey! It's, it's my favorite of a fight. And yet another fight that you can't really just spam the quick slash. No! I was surrounded by those weaves. Darn it, I was doing so well. Wait, nope. We ain't challenging without getting our soul back. Umu is just kind of luck-based. It's luck-based when and how those jellyfish will actually, like, rebound. <laughs> Zote's a pushover. Most of these fights are not that bad. At least at this level of strength. I'm waiting for the Lost Kin to appear among the fights, though. Stop doing these these annoying attacks, bro. So his little minions have, like, just as much HP as he does? Alright, real field. Garfield is a wildly unpredictable fight. Sometimes he's a cinch, and sometimes he deals a lot of damage to you. <laughs> hey, Mobius, what's up? I've been playing this game for about half a year. Again, I was unaware that the game would be this long when I started playing it. I may have done things differently if I had known that. I think this is... I think Hollow Knight is officially the longest non-visual novel stream series I've done. Oh, these guys are just not cooperating now. Yep. 
Why? What the heck? Those guys just would not die. I hit them like 200 times with a super powerful nail. Stream series, not stream. Stream is an individual link. And I'm pretty sure the longest stream I ever did was when I streamed all of Doki Doki Literature Club. I expected it would take like three hours, and it took almost eight. <laughs> it was like two in the morning when I finished. Okay, Bee Knight is being a huge pain in the butt. I really hate how his little bees can still hit you while he's dying. Oh, you like facing Garfield, don't you? Hit it when Garfield, like, you only can hit him once and then he just teleports. Ah, uh, let the bee puns commence. The weird spirit guy who's the second boss in this wave reminds me of Garfield for some reason. It's the coloring and the face. Alright. I don't like the lava barf move. I like how the guy gets, like, one last attack in before they both just die. I don't know any of the characters by their actual names, other than Zoe and Grim. Speaking of which... I'm like, is he doing the exact same move again? He's not. I really hate that claw swipe move that he does. Oh no, I hate this move too. The Iceman Barrage. A lot of the bosses fit. Oh yeah, the cursed Garfield meme is weird. Uh, 
Iceman, here we go. So don't do the double jump, don't do the dash. Oh dear, people all know about the weird Garfield stuff. There's this insane, like, hour and a half length video I watched about weird Garfield internet stuff, and it was very, very disturbing, and I couldn't look away. <laughs> <laughs> I no longer require eyes, John. Yeah, that's it's it's weird. If you don't know what we're talking about, don't look it up. It it's it's very disturbing. I never understood why Garfield of all things either, but eh. I know that that movie exists, but I've never seen it. Mega Mario! Let's be honest, N Normal was never cute. <laughs> I think you're getting two different Garfield fan comics mixed up there, Mobius. Garfield minus Garfield removes Garfield entirely, and that is low-key better than the actual comic. What the? It ate all of my jumps. It's like Smash Bros. So much for ducking. I am now familiar with Lasagna Cat, unfortunately. Uh-oh. This is not a fight where I want to be on low HP and magic. Or soul. Oh wait, is that it? I didn't even knock her down. Oh, Garfield Kart is awful. Yes. 
Thou art painfully persistent. Why dost thou defile this pantheon with thine presence? Seek ye glory, O vain one. Thou misunderstand our purpose. Through ritual combat are we attuned to the voices of the gods. Ever higher do they lead us, higher and higher and higher, until through godly focus do we attain communion with that great power sleeping in the kingdom's heart. O gods of Hollow Nest, show us your might! We shall attune ourselves to thee and ascend ever higher! Yeah, you don't get to become gods. That's, uh, it's not a thing that happens. Uh oh! Great Nail Sage Sly? Oh no! This is a new fight. This might be a fight where we actually have to use the nail arts. What the? How? What, where are there any openings here? There are like no openings. He's just constantly attacking. And he has more range than me, even when I have the max range charm equipped. I don't really want to unequip that and equip a bone nail instead, but... Hmm. <sighs> We're gonna be here forever, aren't we? This is a very long boss gauntlet. Also, I thought I had gotten to the end when I talked to the weirdo. Like, oh, da, da, da. we, I want to be a god. You suck. Get out of here. You defile the gods. I thought you couldn't practice him until you unlock him by beating him. Here's Garfield. I'm sorry, Elder, huh? The orange and the beads make him look like Garfield. The beads remind me of Garfield's jowls. Elder Garfield. Well, I'm pretty sure the boss gauntlet's the only thing I have left outside doing the final boss again, so probably. How are there still more fiends left? I've gotten everything! I have all the upgrades and all the badges. I'm, not, I'm beginning to understand what the Berenstain Bears meant by too much birthday. This is too, the Berenstain Bears and too much content in the video games that they're playing.
Oh, I guess I could Geo Grind up to get the Unbreakable Greed, but eh, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Elderberry Wine. Grim has honor, so we bow to him. Oh! I also just realized, this is the first, like, normally we have to fight Grim with the Grim Child, but not this time. That's nice. It seems like he's doing this move a lot more in the refight than he did when I fought him initially. How did I not hit him there? <laughs> Patience is a virtue. Okay, let's try to take less damage against this guy. Yeah, it reminds me of a fight from uh, Mega Man Rock Force, Death Man, with the bouncing safe. Okay, so it's Zote, and then Umu, and then uh, Hornet, and then Mosquito. Really? Yep, there's no Professor Coral in the Umu fight. Coral made the Umu fight a lot easier. Perfect kill. Nice! There's not much to say about the battles when I play them like 10 times in a row because I keep. they keep adding more battles to it. I still don't have 
Hornet's second battle uh, down. It's mainly her whip attacks that I am still not comfortable dodging all the time. Like when she die when she jumps in the air, I feels like sometimes she does like a diving lunge towards me, and sometimes she does like the twirl move in the air. Let's fully heal up. I'm just trying to find openings at this point. That's definitely an opening. That's an opening. It's yet another fight that Quick Slash is just not that good on. Excellent. Now I can heal up. So far, so good. Okay, now he gets serious, though. Oh, lord, no. This is insanity. What the heck? How in the world are you supposed to do that final phase? He's literally always attacking. Alright, well, I'm not going back to that stupid Pantheon again until I can practice him. It's so dumb how it's like, oh, you got to the end. Nope, psych! A fight you've never done before. Oh, you got your butt kicked. And now you gotta do every single fight again. Like, that's not great design. So he'll be here somewhere. Oh, yeah, I forgot about Poop Fighter. Or Poop Bro. Here he is. That's his free hit combo. When he does this, you jump on the wall, and you can pogo on him from above, potentially. What the? That had way more range than it should have. So he jumps around a bunch and then does his twirly move. 
Okay, wait, wait here, and then, okay. This feels very cheesy, but I don't even care. I take that cheat. Cheese is acceptable for annoying fights. Oh, there we go. Okay, I can do that. I think that phase would be a whole lot more annoying if you didn't have the max range nail. <laughs> Thank you. So, some, some games I can pick up the boss battle patterns really quickly, and others, not so much. Like, I think it took me a very long time to fight those Cuphead fights compared to a lot of other uh, YouTubers for the DLC, but hey, glad I'm learning for Hollow Knight at least. You either do Mark of Pride or use Nail Arts exclusively. Yeah, I, f I was debating trying to charge the Nail Arts while he was doing his weird jump around stuff. I... I hate that attack that B-Knight can do. The one where he just he just dashes immediately. Now I just gotta remember how to lock Mosquito Man in that pattern. Wow, he never did his, like, disappear and launch a bunch of rains attack. Cool. I hope Mosquito Man is the last fight in the Pantheon. It would be very annoying if he wasn't. See ya, Auntie. These guys are annoying. I don't like these guys. Especially because of the lava barf. At least I'm, like, kind of OP at this point with my badge setup and upgrades. <laughs> Grim is my favorite fight out of these, I'd say. He's hard, but he's the good kind of hard. Wow, he really likes that claw swipe attack. <gasps> Keep forgetting, you don't j double jump during that. Oh-ho! That might be why the bindings exist. No way, I don't want the bindings. Ow. 
Ouch! Oh yeah, what's messing me up is like, he does the weird orb dance attack as he gets low on HP, but he does, but he like, gets stunned when you hit him enough. Regardless of how powerful your attacks are. Why do I get the feeling there's gonna be another super hard pantheon where it's like, oh, you get fight Nightmare Grim and the Lost Kin, and like, all of the really annoying fights in the game. <laughs> And, like, all of the dream fights. Like, dream poop bro. Okay, we did pretty well against this guy last time. I don't like how the scythe is, like, changing direction mid... Like that. You can't even judge, like, where it's bouncing to, because it keeps changing the trajectory of the bounce. Oh no, if there was a Super Dream Pantheon, I'm not doing that one. <laughs> I might try it like a few times, but I'm not doing that. That doesn't sound fun. Mario! Why am I messing up on Zote so much? I fought him so many times. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> that just doesn't sound fun or possible. Oh, dog on it. I also don't like this fight because you don't get any soul during this fight. One cycled this boss like the first time, and now I can't do it again. And just for kicks in that dream in that pantheon, we'll also throw in Chef Salt Baker. Okay, so I think if she jumps backwards in the air, then she'll do the little twirly move. But if she jumps forwards, yeah. She jumped backwards and did the twirly move. No, that time she jumped forwards. Okay, this is not good. I'm going into the Mosquito Man's fight with only 4 HP. 5 HP. Yeah, Salt Baker was the final boss of the Cuphead DLC. I dashed, though. 
I dashed, though! Oh, great. Shadow Dash just isn't working again. Because it's temperamental AF. Darn you! No! Arg! The fact that there's no save points between these sucks. Especially as there's a bench! There's a freaking bench after the first half of these fights, but for some reason that's the one bench in the game that doesn't actually save your progress. Like, really? Oh, shoot, I didn't refill my soul. Oh, look, and he's doing the super annoying move over and over again. Again? Sometimes Garfield is just really obnoxious with that attack. How has already an hour of the stream gone by? How? Exciting times. The difficulty of this fight is entirely proportional to how much lava barf this guy throws at me. Like, if he never froze the lava barf, then he's really not that hard. If he throws it constantly, then he's quite annoying. Oh look, he threw lava bar. Oh look, he did it again! How? I swear, I always get him down to like, just one HP for long enough that he is able to get a hit on me. It's super annoying. Same move three times in a row, eh?
Gotta love it when your dash doesn't work. I swear I only remember him doing this move twice. Not three times. half is done. I think it's extremely stupid that you don't save your progress when you step on this bench when you absolutely should, but whatever. Uh, wait. No. I was about to say, should I unequip Quick Slash? But I want Quick Slash for Zote. And for this guy. For Galen. They don't even play his sound effect this time. They're like, We've, we're tired of this sound effect. of you to throw that right on top of me. So it is down. Now we gotta deal with Emu. Now we gotta fight the Emu. That fight's got to be nearly impossible to do without taking damage. We should have nearly full HP for this next tool. Oh no, not nearly full HP, actually full HP. Cool.
What's really ruining me in this fight is the fact that Shadow Dash just will not work sometimes. Because I need Shadow Dash to dash through that move over there like that. Oh no. Okay. So I stay on this side. That's not good, he got behind me. Yes! Thank you. Please be the last fight. Yay! Oh, you have to finish in under 10 minutes. Duh, you stink. God Seeker mode unlocked. Challenge the gods of Hollow Nest. Take your place at your pe at their peak. I don't like the sound of that. Son of a gun, there is another one. That is a lot of notches. Oh dear, do we want to do that? That's nothing really. God Seeker mode just lets you start a new save file in the God Home in case you want to for any reason. Oh, that's weird. I guess for like speed running this. Pantheon of the Night, seek the pure God. I'll try it, but if this is what I think it is. <laughs> Cowabunga it is. O oh, gods of Hollow Nest, graciously thee open the way to this greatest of pantheons. Thy voices grow closer and thy resonance draws us ever higher. Pray we will, will we, attune will we, until that spark of divine light shines from the deepest darkness. Okay, Enraged Guardian- No, I don't like the sound of this. Because the Enraged Guardian is one of those dream fights. Wrecked. No. No 
why. Oh no, I remember this. I don't like this fight. Ouch. I hate bosses that just can teleport away when you're trying to attack them. This is gonna end with freaking Nightmare King Grim, though. I already know it. Traitor Lord! Can't forget about him. Well, that didn't last long. Yeah, I don't... I don't think so. I don't think so. I just know Nightmare Keen Grimm is going to appear right at the end, naturally, because he's the toughest fight in the game. And I'm not really eager to go through that without save states. Let's start challenging these guys. Soul Warrior... Oh wait, I forgot to equip my uh, low health extra power move. If Nightmare King Grimm shows up in that last Pantheon, like, that's a big fat no for me. this guy having this much HP. I know he's the Ascended version, but still, there we go. I'm not trying to fight the Enlightened versions, it's just the Ascended versions. I'm gonna treat that as a Platinum Badge. Oh, the Soul Master! Teleporting McGee! Probably should have unequipped Quick Slash for this one. I'm supposed to be- why can't I move? Oh, I'm dead. I'll come back to him after I unequip Quick Slash. Do 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 do. How about you? Oh, it's Poop Boop. It's Poop Bro. I can beat Poop Bro. 
Everything boss is a potato. Wow. Easy. <laughs> Doba, 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 Doba! I could probably gold rank that guy. Don't really want to, though. The poop bro, and then the white bro. Doba 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 doba. That's right. Okay, yeah, he deals a lot more damage than usual. He's dealing three damage, not just two. So four hits and I'm dead. All right. Got to remember his pattern then. Ended up inside of him. Did not want that. Darn it, he gives you, like, no warning on that. But the white defender normally dealt two damage per hit, didn't he? Doba, 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 Doba! I'm just imagining one of, like, my condo neighbors, who's, who are, like, my mom's age, just parking their car, and then above the garage they can hear, Ho, oh, Doba, 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 Doba! And they're like, what is Artie doing? Doba Doba Doba. So I'm pretty sure we'll fight Doba 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 in the Pantheon as well. Watcher Knight? I forget who this is. <laughs> I don't know who that is. <laughs> oh, that's right. It's the big... These guys. Keep trying. This is not going to be fun. Oh lord, that is not going to be fun. Might be another one that benefits from not having Quick Slash, and instead using that for something else. Don't know. The Watcher Knights are probably your favorite Hollow Knight boss, really. Yes, different strokes.
I don't like this one because you have to keep it your eye on both of them at the same time. And just dumb stuff like that can happen. No, I dashed away! BS! And I had Shadow da Dash. My favorite Hollow Knight... Mm. My favorite out of the required fights is definitely Hornet. My favorite out of all of the fights is probably Grim. Not Nightmare King Grim, but regular old Grim. He thinks I'm going to have to use the downward dash attack for this fight. These guys have way more HP than they should. <laughs> I know they're ascended, but like, I'm so freaking powerful. And I have Quick Slash. <laughs> How are they not just melting like butter? Well, that's the issue. Because the because these guys are multiple enemies in one boss fight, a small amount of extra HP on Ascended Mode could correlate actually to a lot. Why is it not letting me do my Downward Dash? Why is there another one? Nobody invited you to the party. Oh, remember how everyone said you don't need to be in the air to do the downward dash? Yeah, that's completely not true. <laughs> I used the downward dash on the ground and literally nothing happened. And I had enough soul for it. They're, they're liking this the hedgehog move a little too much for my liking. What? You are not supposed to bounce that far, you dumb butt. You bounced like twice as far as all of the other guys. Oh, you randomly had more HP than usual.
Look, at, they're just spamming their stupid hedgehog move. Look at this. This is ridiculous. There's still freaking more. And my shadow dash just doesn't work. I have one attack that's part of it. My only move is Nail Slash. This fight is garbage! This is terrible. I'm not doing this fight anymore. You have to fight like 20 of them. No eyes. Maybe this will be easier. Oh, this is who no eyes is. Great. Oh, and the arena that we fight her in is awful as well. Ouch. Now your grandma is a part of the arty team, I guess. <laughs> she couldn't have heard something inappropriate, because I don't say anything inappropriate. For just this kind of reason. This way you can watch arty streams while on front of your grandma. Just this is garbage. <laughs> that is that is as risque as arty gets. This is trash. Sure, just hover in a place where it's impossible to reach. Sure. No! I doggone it! For this fight, it's easier to take your time? I don't think that's true, because then you just get hit more and more, and you deal less and less damage. Especially since there's only a few platforms you can move on, and the guys take up the entire platform. Wow. Yeah, that's fair. Really? Some of these fights on Ascended difficulty are just kind of not fun. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
What? I could double jump up there just... I am... I don't like this. Oh, great. Well, I love it when those guys just take up the entire platform and you can't do anything to dodge them. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. That's one of- this is one of the few you have done hitless. Hey, congrats! Radiant difficulties would be near impossible, I do declare. Marmu, this is another one of those spirit battles that I forgot about, isn't it? Oh, it's it's the volleyball one. Wow. Wow. No, you know what I'm not looking forward to? <laughs> Nightmare King Grim on Ascended, let alone Radiant. I feel like this guy, when you have Quick Slash, you just shouldn't really be able to take damage. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Quick Slash definitely makes that fight easier. <laughs> you wouldn't get it. Zero! I think there's zero chance that he'll win this. Oh wait, oh it's this guy. Apparently there's no ground. Oh dog. So you just can't heal, basically. Alright, well that guy, Quick Slash, is not going to be useful. Because he hovers out of your reach, and there's no ground. Fun. No, I did not select a tuned difficulty, actually. Oh, hey! It's this guy. What's dumb is you can't even, like, if you accidentally selected the wrong difficulty, you can't even just back out. I don't know why it's automatically selected the bronze category, because I did not indicate for it to do that. Alright, how much harder is this? Oh, look, no ground again. Oh, sure, that appeared out of nowhere.
No Floor Morkov is one of the most infamous fights in the game. Really? Okay, yeah, this this definitely seems obnoxious. Just imagine trying to do this on radiant difficulty. What the heck? Okay, his shield is working way better than my shield ever did. Wow, and he just wow, the weapons just spawn on top of you. That sucks. It's not even the no floor that's the issue, it's the fact that he's just spawning weapons on top of me. Did he just change the direction of his shield? Mid fight. Oh, okay, that should not have happened. Oh, great, he gets two shields. Oh, so at that point, you're just dead. Because he has two shields, so you can't really hit him. And then he's just spawning in weapons every second. Literally, to send right at you. And there's nowhere to move. And he deals double damage. Gotta love it when a boss's hitbox is bigger than their hurt box. How come his shield always stops at the place that I'm at? Even if it was in a completely different spot when he started the launch move, it always stops right on top of you. This fight sucks. Like, like that, the shield is just always there, waiting for you. Off screen, so you can't actually see it before coming in. Alright, that's gonna be the key. No! I ju double jumped, though. Is this yet another fight where the quick slash really isn't going to help? I don't like fights where you can't use quick slash well. The whole point of quick slash is so you can just obliterate bosses. And now it's like, no, we don't want to let you do that. Did he just say bring back Sauron? Because how about no? How does Hollow Knight always get stuck underneath platforms? Like, how? Th that should be very difficult to do, and yet it happens with alarming frequency. No, okay, so basically, no matter what I do, he hits me at the beginning. 
And it ate my double jump. Cool. Oh, look! He got stuck under the freaking platform again, even though that should be impossible. Let's hear it for Hollow Knight, everybody. It was a Lord of the Rings reference. You didn't get the Lord of the Rings reference? I'm not even, like, a Lord of the Rings fan, but even I know who Sauron is. Look at that. He changed the direction his shield was moving in just so he could hit me. He actively broke the rules of the shield just so, so that I would take a hit. Oh, look, he did it again. He almost got stuck under the platform again. Lord, this fight stinks. Some of these Ascended Battles have actually been fun, but then you just get ones like this, where it's like... Okay, whoever designed this fight must have missed the fact that video games are supposed to be fun. It's just like, what if... We, how can we make this fight annoying? I know, let's break every rule in place for the shield. And also, you don't need a floor to fight on. The fact that you can't even see the needles when they're off screen, but they still get launched at high speed at you, it's, it's the worst. Like, how are you supposed to predict when they're coming? Oh, and this guy can just... Uh, how does this happen?! It's a platform! How do you get... And it ate my double jump again. I will give it another go, and if it fails, then I'm saying sayonara to this fight, because... Come on, you can't be serious. I've gotten stuck under the platform more times than I've actually made it on top of the platform. And I repeat, that should not happen. No, no, that fight sucks. Not, not playing that. Yeah. Oh, look, the scythe's being a pain in the butt again. Well, that fight was way easier. Yeah, like, you get ascended fights like that, which are actually, like, pretty simple, and then you get ascended fights like freaking Markov, and it's like, nope. <laughs> Not even a comparison. Oh, it's Gorb! My best friend. Actually, Gorb could be tough. Depending on how much H extra HP they give Gorb, this actually could be a toughie.
gameplay was perfectly fine. I feel like they didn't balance a lot of these fights. Elder, huh? Oh, it's Garfield! Let's try Garfield. Wow! See? Most of these fights are easy, and then every once in a while there's just like, yeah, this one, this one's not really possible. Nice job. Oro and Mato. Okay. These guys are going to be tough. Because I only fought them once in the arena. Yes, so. How did I survive that? Okay, I came close, though. That fight's definitely doable. It seems like they only really buffed their HP and their damage output for the Ascended level, and they didn't take out half the floor. So... Ha, ho, ho, he, he. I like how the brothers team up in this fight. It is pretty co cool. Like this, they could have made this fight really nasty. Thanks for letting my wall jump work. Thanks for calling 911, putt putt. Please keep just doing this over and over. Darn, darn it. <laughs> oh, that's nice. They put their differences aside <laughs> in order to kick Hollow Knight's butt. 
they definitely could have made this fight a lot harder. Like, because often I'm seeing a lot of the times one of the brothers is just kind of sitting back and letting the other brother do a move. If they had the mo both of them attack with all of their might at the same time, this would be a very different fight. <laughs> No! The, I've noticed the Hollow Knight dash is not nearly as responsive as the Cuphead dash. Even though they're both kind of the same, where you just dash in one direction. The Cuphead one you can spam really easily. But I feel like in Hollow Knight it really only works when it wants to work. When you're in tight situations like this. We can take them on. Come on! Hotta! Why did the wall jump not work? No! The wall jumps are not working. And conveniently, they're never working when I really need them to work. To, like, jump over a super arm move like that. Part of the wall is non-smooth. That is really incredibly stupid. Especially since I've I jumped on all parts of the wall before. So the top part of the wall you can't jump. That's extremely stupid. Oh. 
I jumped, you butt! Come on! Oh, that's right. It's a horizontal slash, therefore it reaches twice as up high above them as you would expect. Because that's just how Hollow Knight horizontal slashes work. Except when you do horizontal slashes, of course. Of course it uncharges. They've got to both be almost dead. I've slashed them both so many times. Okay, that's, that's one down. There we go. Thank you. Wow, it's 10 o'clock. I've been streaming for two hours, and I thought I was approaching the hour and a half mark. Wonderful! Well... We didn't do as much as I would have hoped for that for this stream, considering we went a half hour over time. We, fe we cleared the third gauntlet, which I guess is nice, and we beat a couple of those bosses, but I don't know if I want to do that fourth gauntlet. If, uh... <laughs> if the end of the gauntlet, or if just if Nightmare King Grimm shows up in that gauntlet... I'm not doing it. I'm, I am not doing the gauntlet if Nightmare King Grimm shows up in there. Just because it took me, like, what, almost 100 attempts just to get him down once? And I... I wasn't quite as powerful as I am now, but I was pretty much as powerful as I am now, so I don't think that's going to work. It would probably take me, like, 10 streams just to get that done, and I really don't care about that, so... We'll go for the rest of the bosses here. We might give Arena number three, like, a good old college try one last time. Otherwise, we'll be finishing up Hollow Knight pretty soon, I think. So, we will be streaming this again on Wednesday at the usual 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then we will be doing a Majora's Mask Randomizer stream on Saturday. So, that's going to be a lot of fun. So, it was great chatting with you all tonight. Thank you for joining in. Hope you guys tune in for Wednesday. And if not, well, we'll I'll see you around, I suppose. So, have a great rest of your night. God bless, everybody.